Hi everybody, my name is April Nicole and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. Man, that was a long break, wasn't it? I'm sorry guys, I had to go and live my motherfucking life. And I'm here to finish the videos that I didn't finish. So, I believe Libra, Scorpio, and Cancer, I owe you guys a video. I'm not mistaken. Um, ignore my nails. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. I've been like painting them different colors and then I got ink spots on one so... Um, I'm not doing this during the Libra video. Scorpio, I know y'all don't really talk shit. Y'all just be like, get to the fucking message. So I'm going to get to you, Scorpio. I'm going to do your video. Um, Libra will probably will have like a picture up or something. All right. So Scorpio, um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. All right. So let's see. I haven't been feeling well at all. My back has been killing me. Really, for real. No problem. <laughs> just my back problems. I was supposed to get my nails done, but I was just like, I ain't doing nothing. I've been getting coffee and then literally going to bed to do some more shit I need to do. So, I've been mommy, mommy Scorpio. Okay, we're going to get your love messages. Then I'm probably going to get into some minimum. And then we're going to go into system tarot. And I want to get three major things you need to focus on for March, even though March is almost halfway over. Still some good advice. Okay, some cards are itching to come out. Kisses is one. Um, let's see. Camera is two. And one more for Scorpio for March. Um, this one kind of popped out. Cassette. Okay. A lot of media. So someone you could be dating could be in the public eye or actually could be on tape. Or they could be on the radio. You can actually hear this person. They could be on fucking YouTube. Um, they could be on social media, Facebook, IG, Twitter, um, whatever fucking platform you choose to be on. Shit, motherfuckers still on Black Planet. I mean, whatever you want to do. Um, Snapchat. Um, so this is the card of kisses. Um, it says, unconditional loving, giving affection, or receiving affection, falling in love. So maybe you're watching someone that you admire or you like and you're like oh i like what i see um cassette player could be outdated thinking conditioning you're playing events over in your head so um it's in the past position and at the top is what you really want which is affection and romance and the outdated thinking is pretty much um the things that you maybe you're reflecting on a previous time period where maybe um you were reminiscing on old memories and then the conditioning is kind of like um, what you've already pretty much put your mind and set your mind up to. And then the replaying events could be just you reminiscing about something that has occurred with this person or a situation. Um, I do have the camera card, which is reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from past mistakes. So you could be literally reminiscing or you could be making memories. Um, you Again, this is perception, colors, everything. So you're learning from some type of situation where maybe your thinking was not completely updated and um, you were thinking negatively or your your thought process did not match the relationship or wasn't conducive. Um, you could be really severely playing things out in your mind, trying to figure out like what's going on. Um, yeah, I really believe that you could be trying to maybe go in the past and figure out your future. Let's see. Let's get some cards on the cassette player for Scorpio. Okay. A lot came out. Um, the first two, oh, three. They're reversed, though. Um, this is the the um, mountain card. Not mountain card. Well, mountain's here, but this is the tower card. It's not the same as in Tarot. The tower card is protection. Maybe you don't feel protected. Or there was a time where you went back to where you felt protected in the past. Um... The crossroads card. Maybe you're no longer at a crossroads in your life. I'm going to put it up right though. Or maybe you are figuring out, do you want to leave your protective place in a relationship with someone else? Um, are you looking at all the things you've been through with this person and have decided, like, do you really want to continue to make those memories? Um, the mountain could be like a lot of drama or a lot of stiffness or resistance. Um, maybe you feel like your path up front will be full of resistance. These are sideways. The fox and the fishes. Maybe you're trying to work hard as shit. Um, you're loyal to who's loyal to you. 
but um the fox card can be about deception maybe you feel like up ahead you don't really know what the fuck's going on i'm surprised cloud's not here but the fishes is like what in the past you were stable you may have some money um you may have been um in a very uh good uh good space this is exporting maybe you were in lived around in sea i see two sea cards so definitely ocean but you literally you could have been in a situation where um you were in a good space honestly you were in a good space and i feel like um with the fishes and the motherfucking um uh, i'm sorry it was something in my ear but and the fishes and the and the sea car i honestly feel like you were in an abundant place in the past and now you're just leaving and you don't really know where the fuck you're going. You feel like it's going to be so much harder to build this same shit up. And that's why you're replaying the shit in your mind. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. Period. Point blank. Um, the kisses part. Let's see what that's about. Because that's you You looking at what you you left. And you like, damn, I got to go back out and create another relationship. Yeah, Scorpio. Kisses. Maybe in the past, it was hard to create those fucking relationships with them dumbass people you were trying to connect with. Some of them motherfuckers was dumbasses, and you know it. The house and the kid card. You don't want no kids. You don't want no, you want loose strings. The house card is stability, foundations, feeling at home. You don't want nobody to feel at home in your shit at all. You like, nigga, you gotta get your own shit when we done kissing and get the fuck out. You don't want no kids. You don't want anything to grow from it. You just want a one-night stand. What a one-night stand card at? Or maybe this maybe this person doesn't want that with you. This is a house and some kids. This is a, this is a serious ass deal here. Somebody wants to commit for real, for real. Um, the cassette. Let's see what the cassette is. Or the camera. I'm sorry. What is the camera for Scorpio? Ooh, damn! Motherfuckers fell out, didn't they? Okay, so the the Clover's car fell out first. Oh, uh, something lucky. So maybe something fortunate. Or a blessing, something, um, the ring it could be a proposal or a merger, something stable or solid. Yeah, somebody wants to transition into this, and that's the memory that they choose to make. They've been through a lot of tumultuous relationships in which they never felt like they got what they wanted, but they see what they want, but maybe they feel like they can't get it. That's the reason why there's a boulder or a mountain, they feel like they can't, uh, they can't, uh, manifest it or. They can't um, get a hold of it. That's not true, Scorpio. Let's get some tarot cards on the um, the cassette. Usually I have my advice cards out. I'll probably do that for another reading. You just do the cassette. My hands actually is here. I hate when my cards do that. Um, the cassette for Scorpio for March. What is the cassette? Okay. Temperance is reversed. Some stuff is kind of really like everywhere. Temperance is balance, kind of making everything that doesn't work, does work, and kind of blend it. But in this kind of situation with the temperance card reverse, nothing is really being blended. It's kind of like, like throwing at each other. My bad, y'all. I Like, literally every video, I would say, like, I would see, like, a B or something, but I don't, nope, I don't see one. My bad, sorry about that. So, temperance card is literally, like, it could be about a Sagittarius, could be about a Gemini, Scorpio. If you've been messing with them people, you'll know. But um, the Temperance card here says here, if I'm not mistaken, that you are either trying to mesh things and make them like, you're not trying to mesh them. Like Temperance upright is like, it's going to go together when it's supposed to and all the time. You're trying to be like, bam, 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 like, no. And then you're rushing things and it's just, no, it's a chaotic situation. So maybe in the past things were rushed. It was chaotic. It didn't end on a good note. Scorpio, you were just like, I'm tired of that shit. Um, the other cards that peaked were the strength card, the empress, and the ten of wands. Something was very hot and heavy. Maybe you had sex with people that it didn't bring you anything. Or it was just of no effort. Nothing came from it. Or you could have a baby mama that is holding on to your ass tightly, I might ask. She would take care of this person and they're a financial burden on you. It could be a Libra or it could be um, could be a, a Virgo or a Taurus. Hmm. So you got some type of situation with a baby mama that she can't have no kids or the situation is going nowhere. And you're trying to hold on to that person, but it's really trying you. This person could be your mother, too, as well. 
Um, this person can have a lot of opinions. You're trying to find the most practical approach to deal with this person, and it's just not working out. Like, it's just matters are just stalling out of control <laughs> is what it says. The kisses part for Scorpio. Um, the King of Cups and the King of Wands. Ooh, could be a could be a same sex relationship. The Two of Cups, absolutely, could be same sex. Five of Cups, maybe you miss someone. The King of Wands is a hoe though. This could be the same man, but if this is a, a, a gay or bisexual relationship, one man is a hoe and one man is a loving man, and someone is upset about the loss of affection. Or the relationship is no longer romantic or it's no longer passionate. It's become stale. Someone still has this relationship or this connection, but they feel that they lost everything because this person is not acting like they are attractive and taken. They're acting as if they have no fucking spouse or no relationship. Um, others of you, you are ho. The King of Wands is a hoe. He's not forthcoming about anything. He can't give you nothing because he's always in somebody else's shit. The King of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, another Scorpio. So this person, um, they have two sides. One person is a hoe. The side, they, they do love you. They're lonely. They grudge easily. They bruise easily. If you hurt their feelings with the brutal truth, they will cry in the corner. They will cry in the car. But this person does love, and they do go through great, strengths to be seen and be admired so this person the king of wands and the king of cups like this person um they're very attractive and they're very loving and caring but this this part is they're authoritative they're controlling could be borderline narcissistic almost but someone is definitely like they need to consolidate they need to get these parts of their self together with the temperance card it needs to be upright if it's not two different people but there is a loss of affection because of this lack of commitment. Someone just can't... Someone's going to be like, no, I don't want to fuck you because it's not going anywhere. You say you don't want nothing going nowhere, but you keep fucking with me and we're not going nowhere. Where's my title, fam? Scorpio, you're not giving someone... Could be a fire sign, Leo, could be Aquarius. Someone's not getting their fucking, like... They're not getting a uh, commitment. What is the camera for, Scorpio. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, um, and the Moon could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, Ten of Pentacles, some type of money or a rich person. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords is also here. This one wants to show itself. That's Nine of Pentacles. Someone's single, but I ain't gonna show it. But I'm letting you know. Ooh, somebody tried to see you, somebody. All right. Ooh, this is some type of deception. Does someone feel like someone's gonna try to steal somebody's money? This person's sitting pretty, but they got a whole Cadillac in the bag. They got a good life, but this person is deceptive. They'll do anything it takes to get what they need to get. What's behind them? What's behind door number one? Okay, so maybe you're a little skeptical or a little weirded out about that. But Ace of Pentacles is like something that you get and don't fulfill you. It's like eating like you hungry as shit and somebody give you like a, a pack of crackers. Like, what the fuck are they going to do for me? Like, I'm a big girl. I need fucking lamb and bacon wrapped lamb and and brussels sprouts and and mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese somebody want that bullshit crackers fuck out of here yeah it don't fulfill it doesn't entice it doesn't it doesn't give me a wild factor it's bullshit six of cups is like an ex relationship so maybe old relationships don't fucking make you you clinging on to shit that doesn't fulfill you and you looking back at shit that just doesn't bring you to any type of blessing or crossroads where you can evolve you know you're taking the lessons from these relationships and bit and, and making them to a point where they're they're a learning lesson for you to not go into that same path you just keep fucking running in circles the moon is about a person who can't even fucking see you afraid to go forward because you can't fucking see because you keep making the same dumbass mistakes in the past scorpio for those who's applicable now everybody ain't going through this shit but goddamn the ten of pentacles Somebody ass is rich or they got some type of money. Someone doesn't trust someone because someone feels like they're financially affluent. They have the bag, but they don't really trust anyone because they're afraid of letting one in. The Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups is kind of like this person, something, relation, past relationships never fulfilled because they were materialistic or underminingly like their ambitions were wrong or the approach was off. The moon is about a risk that someone doesn't want to take with, with someone that they feel that they want to be with. The Six of Cups could be Scorpio, could also be, uh, I don't know why I got cancer in my mind, but could, it definitely could be a Taurus. Um, 
could be a Pisces moon, sun, or rising, though. The Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Maybe someone is making a decision in regards to um, squandering their money. They feel like they're squandering their money or they want to take a chance. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're going to squander your money. But to the point where they take a chance, they're not afraid of the loss. Seems like maybe you're a financial millionaire or you have money to burn. You're a thousandaire or whatever. And you're trying to see if an investment is worth it. Maybe you have a little extra to wear. If it don't, it don't. It, if it turns over, great. Some of you motherfuckers play in stock market anyway. So I'm just like, what you afraid of? A relationship? You invest in it. If it don't work, just leave that motherfucker. I don't see what the big deal is. You don't have to be suckered into something that you are in control. I don't know why motherfuckers think that they have no control over their own relationships. Like, bro, grow up. If that is applicable. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we get here. Let's go into Tarot for other people that are not dealing with that. What else is going on for Scorpio? My ashy ass hands. I'm just emotional on this video. What is going on with you, Scorpio? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is working together. So someone needs to work together or they need to be, um, someone could be building something. This could be someone that's a mason or they're trying to um, work on something. They have a group. They have a bunch of people working together as one. Someone could be trying to make that money. There's a payback card. Someone is getting payback from all their efforts. It's like the little mini world, basically. You got a group of people that work together to build that fucking building. And it's going to be a fucking masterpiece. Could be a chapel. Could be a piece of prayer. Could be anything. Piece of comfort. Someone is building something to where it's going to make them a lot of money in the long run. The Six of Pentacles could be about uh, philanthropy, an investment, a corporation. Four of Pentacles. Someone doesn't want to give someone a lot of money going into the relationship as they build or rehab something. They don't want to give a lot to it. They don't want to be stuck the death card. They don't want to go into the wrong direction. They don't want to be tempted or be enticed to a, a decoy situation. So it's kind of like they want to take a risk, but they don't want to put themselves all out there. And that's understandable. You don't have to necessarily give everything at the door. No relationship is, is, is asking for... For you to entirely empty out your wallets or your care everything that's not how relationships work relationships is i match you if you give me something and it doesn't have to be exact case in point um i was dating this guy he didn't have a lot of money but i worked two jobs and i took him out and a lot of girls were like oh you took him out for you a mammy but i took him out i I took him out for dinner, and um, he got a job, and he took me out to the hotel. I wanted to go there, by the way. The hotel, the restaurant, the bar. It was fun. Like, we went all over Chicago. I'm from Chicago. And he's my husband. So, um, yeah, like, I had no idea that he was going to grow up into the man that was unemployed and had no money, didn't have no job at the time because he was in between jobs. And I was sticking with him, trying to help him out, that he would end up growing to be this man that went to the Army, retired, going to school for, you know, music engineering and stuff like that. And, you know, um, it's it's crazy because, like, uh, a lot of women would have said no. I'm not saying that you have, you have every fucking right to say no to someone. You don't want to fix her up or you don't have to get this shit. This ain't for everybody. I don't condone no one doing any struggle love situations, but in my situation, it was a struggle love situation where we were struggling. But um, someone feels like they didn't struggle with you. So they feel like they don't want to give everything to you where they're established and they feel like they don't want to be stuck in a non-productive situation where they have to end it and it's like they're tied in. Cherry is like, a, they don't know how to handle a very crazy situation. Sorry, y'all. I keep thinking it's a bug at me. But no, they don't want to They don't want to deal with that. The Seven of Cups is like a decoy. It's like all those cups are bullshit. Confusion is also a Seven of Cups. Drinkingness, drunkenness. Pandora's box. They don't want to open that shit because they're going to get stuck trying to close that bitch. Someone isn't like... Someone is like... Mm. Someone is like they don't want to give all to a situation with a person who's un unequally yoked, maybe financially, or they don't, they're don't. they not sure if, someone's going to, if something's going to work out. To where they're going to get something in return. It's, it's equally as beneficial as the person they're investing in. And that could be a scary thing in relationships. Like, what if I give my all to... you? No one's telling you to do that shit. That's cliche. Oh, I'm going to give my all to this person. No, you give a little piece. And you see that motherfucker match you. Like, I'm going to bring a blunt. And you're going to match me, right? Oh, and you're not? Okay, well, this blunt's mine. Bye. I have no problem smoking alone. That's how I look at it. For those who don't smoke weed, I brought me a bottle of wine, right, to a party called BYOB. Um, you ain't bring no bottle of wine, bitch. You ain't drinking. It's a sober night for you, motherfucker. 
I'm not finna sit here and we can eat. We can go to fucking all these bitches and get you a two dollar bottle of wine. It said bring a bottle. It didn't say how much you had to bring. It didn't say what label it had to be. Bitch, bring. You could make your own fucking wine. I don't give a damn. Karen, Sue Ann, Janine, whatever the fuck y'all names are. I'm not saying. I'm not cussing y'all out. But the ones that can't hear me in the back. Just bring your own bottle. This and I don't even think this is you, Scorpio. I think this motherfucker y'all be rolling with. See, for y'all trying to get my comments talking about stuff, you so mean to Scorpio. Now, I think it's them, I think it's some Scorpio brothers I'm talking to, honestly. But it said bring your own fucking shit. But you match someone. Now, let's say for instance, if a person tells you that they're not interested in the type of connection for those of you who are new. And it seems like there could be some people out there that maybe are trying to approach someone new. If they don't match your situation because they're not interested in that way, try to match them where they can reach them where they at. Depending on if you want to create another relationship. Case in the point, maybe you're wanting a romantic relationship with someone and someone wants a platonic relationship. Do you want to stay friends? Maybe that's a good idea or an opportunity to meet this person and get to know them. Maybe if you would have jumped right in, you would have wasted your time and it would have been fucked up. And you'd be like, damn. But now you got to get a chance to get to know them for real. And you don't feel like you wasting any time because you got to get a chance to know them for free. No pressure, no nothing. Y'all friends. But that's for people who ain't fucked. Now, if you fucked, you fucked. That's a whole, you can't change the rules in the ninth inning. Like, you be getting mad and shit. Nah, you got to go through. It's a whole different ball game. You're going to have to renegotiate them terms like Megan Thee Stallion. Okay? All right, now. All right, anything else for Scorpio coming out the reading? Okay, um, the Five of Swords and Queen of Swords. Someone's apologizing. Or this woman could be apologizing to you. Maybe she don't apologize often. Or you could be apologizing to her. The Justice and the Devil card could be a legal situation could be dealing with a uh, libra or a capricorn person um someone could have some secrets someone could be um the hangman throws me off though what is the hangman that was kind of peeking what was the hangman for scorpio someone could be um eight of pentacles okay so Someone is burnt out in their beliefs. There may be someone can someone could be hiding their beliefs from someone that they depend on financially. That was a small message. For others of you, um, the five of swords can be giving up with regrets or walking away. Um, not trying to bicker or argue with someone, just saying, ah, it was a jerky situation, but I'm done. The justice card can be settling of situations. Um, is someone forgiving someone and being married? It seems like the marriage is a trap. It's like someone is apologizing to you just to marry you, just to trap you. Like, what is the devil? What's the devil? What's, what's the devil? What is that? The nine of cups. Yeah, some. The prince of wands. The eight of cups. Someone wanted something materialistic as hell. The death card, two of pentacles, and the queen of cups. The death card can be about an ending. The ending of juggling between a water sign. So someone could have killed off a water sign. Now there's just two people in a relationship. Um, someone could have stopped juggling someone recently, Scorpio. Uh, could have been you or you could have been axed. The three of wands is about um, a person who or people who argue office drama, competition, bullshit. You could be arguing with a Capricorn, Aquarius, a, 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 a Capricorn, Sagittarius, um, Taurus, or Virgo person, or some woman that sells her pussy, or some woman that ain't got no money and she sells her life or her soul for benefits. Not literally, but it could be goddamn literal. Three of Wands is also about someone that feels like they can't advance because they need more either skills or they need more clarification or they need more fucking approval from someone or something. The Queen of Pentacles is someone that doesn't have it. Or they spend a lot of money they don't fucking have. And the Ten of Swords is like not coming back to that either. Someone could be asking two women. Someone could feel like um, they don't... A missed opportunity maybe. Someone could feel like um, the competition is fierce. Or someone will make a comeback after a fierce competition. Now it's more Three of Pentacles at first, but... Um, the Queen of Swords, someone is making up. The, the Devil card is a wish. Does someone make some type of black magic wish? Does someone make a wish to set things right? The, the Devil and the Nine of Cups is like settling up situations. 
the devil it's like a, a very lower vibrational wish or someone wants to go after their lower vibrational instant gratificational desires maybe to move or to to this is the nine of wands to fuck maybe someone has some type of sexual wish the eight of cups is like materialism or drifting is, is someone moving to drift or something what is the eight of cups what the fuck is that Not Ten of Cups, Family, Queen of Wands, the Three of Cups. Hmm, someone's a friend. Ten of Cups is like a family. This woman's pregnant, but she's not pregnant in the Ten of Cups of Verse. Did someone else have an old baggage? Is someone going back to something? They're going back to the Queen of Wands. Someone one has a wish to go back to what they were doing. The Nine of Wands is a hoe, though. Trust him. But someone wants to go back to what they started. But the devil is like, <laughs> could be a Capricorn. Someone ass is materialistic as fuck. They didn't get what they want, and they, they would like to stay friends. But they have a, this, this motherfucker is sexual as hell. Look at these the strippers in the background. Somebody wants to set things right. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or, or a Libra this month. Okay, Scorpio. Um, high refine and three of pentacles. You'd be do you could be working, working hard as fucking getting that recognition. But don't let your um your ideas be fucking carried away with you to where you fucking actually do some goofy shit and none of that shit work out. This motherfucker got a lot of good ideas, but they're unrealistic as fuck. They gotta fucking figure that shit the fuck out, you know? But other than that, you good. Scorpio, so I mean, good reading. Good reading, I will say. Alright, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.